What's going on everybody? In today's video, we're going to look at Nano Dimension stock, ticker symbol NNDM, and some recent news. We're going to go over their largest purchase order that they've ever received, as well as an acquisition. And then we're going to check out the chart at the end, and I'll show you some levels to look out for. Now, if you like these Nano Dimension videos, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, consider checking out the links down below, and consider joining my YouTube membership to show your support. Nano Dimension received their largest purchase order in terms of cash value and in terms of number of machines. And this order was from a Western highly advanced industrial leader. Now because of security and confidentiality, NNDM cannot reveal who this customer is, but essentially the nature of the customer's work requires sophisticated innovation and a supply chain with advanced electronics securely available in reliable short order. And this customer and others like it, which include national aerospace agencies, navies, Air Forces and industrial high-tech leaders rely on Nano Dimension's unique technologies to advance innovation in a way that traditional manufacturing technologies of electronics manufacturing cannot achieve. Now, one of the presidents of Nano Dimension stated that we are excited that another Western leading high-tech industrial manufacturing player is investing in the design and production to shorten its fabrication cycles and bring to life innovative ideas which could not have been done before. And UIF Stern, the chief executive and chairman of Nano Dimension, added that very importantly this customer is buying multiple advanced manufacturing systems. This is evidence that Nano Dimension's technologies and materials are irreplaceable and essential. And customers with forward-looking visions who are at the forefront of technological fabrication innovation continue to express demand for our systems. We are proud to be chosen as the supplier for such a unique organization. But this isn't all the news here. We also have some recent news about an acquisition. Nano Dimension acquired technology and intellectual property of a UK-based software company called Additive Flow. And according to Nano, the Additive Flow product addresses design, production, and quality decisions while optimizing for cost, weight, manufacturing productivity, and manufacturing yield simultaneously. Now let's take a look at the customer base of Additive Flow. Their customers are in the following industries, advanced optics and optoelectronics, aerospace and defense, semiconductors, advanced energy, and electronics. Now looking at the CEO and CTO's comments, from Additive Flow, the Additive Flow team is thrilled to join Nano Dimension. Our solution was born out of real engineering challenges we faced to harness the capability of advanced manufacturing. Our platform is built from the ground up to handle all the complex data and decisions of digital engineering so teams can focus on their key goals. Now the senior chief technology officer of Nano added that we have been looking at the software market for simulation and optimization offerings for some time. There are many strong solutions in the market that do certain elements of those complicated tasks but it is Additive Flow's product that stood out in terms of the functionality we needed for a holistic solution, especially in the context of our requirements across AME and multi-dimensional polymer, metal and ceramic AM. The acquisition will add considerable firepower to the ability of our customers to leverage our leading digital manufacturing solutions. We continue to see Nano Dimension make wise acquisitions that should continue to increase their revenue and eventually bring them to profitability. And it's great to see that we had the largest purchase order in history in terms of dollar amount and number of machines. Now let's finish this up with a look at the chart. But first off, before we go there, I do wanna mention that I'll leave Additive Flow's website so you can look around there. They already have a nice list of companies that they work with. One that comes to mind here that I've seen many times before is Airbus, but feel free to check out the link Links down below to additive flow as well as these recent articles of news because I didn't cover every single bit of it. Now looking at nano dimension on the chart you'll see that it looks like we're breaking this pattern here. There was an attempt to hold it but we started breaking down and now we're starting to see the selling. I'm going to be watching for this 270 area. This is where the 100 and 200 EMA lie and if we break those we may see an accelerated sell-off after that but I will be watching those levels to see how it holds there. As for the moving averages we're still attempting to hold the 50 but if we do start breaking this finding resistance if we try to break back over it and we find resistance, we may fail the 50 and head towards the 200 MA, sitting right around 260. But looking at the chart, ever since the beginning of the year, this has been trending up with some pullbacks along the way, but we started this year with Nano Dimension right around the $2 area. It ran up all the way into the threes before pulling back to about 220 or so. Now, one thing to watch out for that's coming just around the corner is Nano Dimension's earnings. And this is only about three days from this upload and I will be covering it. But I do think until that point, Nano Dimension is gonna have a uh, trouble trying to figure out where it wants to trade at. So I do believe we have the next two to three days of a little bit of uncertainty. You know, the stock's gonna try to figure out, do we move higher? Do we move lower? Do we create some new recent lows? I think the catalyst that will obviously affect the price 
is going to be earnings coming up. And if it comes out very good, we're gonna be looking at potentially a run to the 330 area. If we were to break 330, this would create some recent highs that we haven't seen for almost a year now. However, if earnings disappoints, we will likely see a push towards the 200 MA, right around that 260 area that I mentioned. But currently as it stands, the chart is still bullish. We saw our golden cross back in July, and currently we are still trading above the MAs. However, we did test and fail the 50 EMA. So I think right now the thing to watch for is the EMAs. We're gonna see how we hold at the 100 and 200. If those fail, we'll be watching for the 200 MA. But I think, it really comes down to earnings coming up in the next couple of days. That'll be the catalyst that either pushes nano dimension higher or pulls it back some more. And of course, coming up, you know, in next month, we do have the Fed meeting, so it'll be very important to watch our upcoming CPI, PPI, and PCE. If we do have numbers there that disappoint, we may see one more rate hike from the Fed. And that'll, of course, hurt some of the small caps, including Nano Dimension. But thanks, as always, for watching, guys. Let me know what you think about this recent news. Where do you think Nano Dimension is gonna be heading to on the chart? Keep an eye out for Nano Dimension's upcoming earnings. It will definitely bring some volatility to the stock.